Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. So what is Linux? Linux is an operating system where we can, the unique operating system which I can say uh, quite uh, different from Windows and uh, it, it has so many features like uh, where we can manage your processes like which are running in the background and uh, we can even uh, optimize your memory and we, ha we have uh, like uh, at the hardware level we also we can manage. So there are so many unique features compared to like Windows with respect to Linux. So uh, what is an operating system? So an operating system is a program which will keep your uh, system uh, up and uh, where we can communicate as a user, you can communicate through an application uh, through OS. So where OS will internally interact with the computer hardware. So as a uh, computer engineer, we know that uh, uh, everybody will be using some different kinds of operating systems. So only for Linux itself, we have so many flavors. If you go to Windows, we got so many versions of Windows. So Windows Network, Windows 98, Windows Networking, uh, Windows 2000 uh, 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 server and we also have like uh, Windows Millennium. So there are so many like uh, uh, Windows 2010. Uh, so we have so many Windows flavors. So like that even Linux is an operating system which got developed on top of Unix and uh, that is widely used by even in the production systems. So if you go and see any production system, most of the projects will run on Linux because of the unique common features of Linux, like uh, it is the first main important feature of uh, Linux is security. Security wise, if you go and see multinational banks and all, they worry about security. So they will not ready to disclose their data outside and they want to keep some firewalls and uh, they want to restrict the outside people to access their applications or data in their enterprise. So because we, we, we can see there are so many like cyber security issues are coming in nowadays. So, so most of the banks are not ready to use like uh, this open source uh, uh, or tools or whatever like uh, the operating system which, which are uh, not secure. So Linux is one of the operating system where we can store your data in a secure way. And the data uh, Linux, file, Linux file system internally which it uses is very strong. And also like uh, uh, it internally, we can even manage the uh, memory in Linux is uh, uh, quite uh, different from other uh, operating systems. And even the process management also, will how Linux will manage is uh, uh, very unique and, uh, uh, and it is very easy. And also like uh, networking side also, Linux is strong compared to other, other operating systems. So like, so finally, I, what I can conclude here is like Linux is one of the unique operating system uh, in the, <clears throat> the development area where every every de uh, developer should know, especially in MLOps uh, like uh, <clears throat> project, we use so many tools like Git or even DVC or other like Kubernetes, Docker, all these tools will be used on top of Linux only. So that, that, for, for that reason, I am uh, clearly mentioning that Linux foundation is important. So, so Linux usually like it was developed by uh, Boston University and uh, uh, it, it started using, uh, before that people are uh, uh, using Unix. And even I started Unix and uh, my career and uh, later I migrated to Linux because uh, most of the Linux uh, uh, commands are also similar to Unix commands. So people who are already working, I think they know Unix and uh, Linux, but uh, uh, the commands will be uh, similar, almost. Uh, we will have some additional commands uh, uh, in Linux and uh, security wise and additional features compared to Unix. And uh, this, this is the most common uh, operating system used by most of the researchers and uh, when, when you, you, you want to even maintain at uh, server level or a cluster level, people are even, uh, they are touching only Linux, they are not using other uh, uh, operating systems. Even if you go and see even AWS, we, we, we have a Linux, uh, different kinds of uh, 
uh, Linux flavors like Ubuntu, we have like HP Unix, so we have uh, Sun Solaris, so we have so many flavors of Linux people are using. So, so, so like we, like uh, I said, like Linux is the uh, the common within a common operating system used by uh, all the people uh, in the industry. So, so we should also use uh, our uh, uh, try to understand how to use it. So, so this is just like Linux is nothing but uh, uh, similar to Unix. So it is like a clone on Unix, uh, which was written by uh, 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 by uh, Linus Torvald from scratch and he developed this uh, this linux on top of unix and uh, actually unix is actually why unix became famous uh, and uh, widely used in the industry is like this uh, i multitasking and multi user os which was uh, developed uh, in 1969 itself so in 18 at uh, uh, the labs because the, the main feature uh, why unix got famous is multiple users can parallel use it and they can perform multitasking and all these they were start, they started using in 1969 itself and uh, uh, that is one of the unique feature under uh, linux uh, and also like linux and uh, unix both are like uh, try to be like uh, post 6 compliant so people people started using uh, them because of this uh, unique feature and if you see now almost 64% uh, not only 65 this more than that uh, people of uh, world main servers are run on different kinds of either Unix or Linux. Even if you go and see in this Android phones also like uh, they run on Linux because most of uh, most of the servers uh, like production servers people use Linux uh, because of this uh, Unix feature like security the first thing and other other features uh, 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 Unix features of Linux are Unix. These I think it will be more uh, I don't want to like uh, yeah um, but so you, have, you see how Linux has this many distributions and uh, why I, I, people are widely using this, this, this many flavors of uh, uh, Linux in the industry is right. So this, this the Linux itself has many distributions. So it is it is it has so many like uh, 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 what I can say um, development is happening in Linux side and people are uh, uh, contributing in open source side and uh, they are working on different di linux distributions uh, to develop and uh, so 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 people are already using uh, like for example red hat uh, I, I i was using red hat for some time i worked on sun solaris and i also worked on like uh, hp unix for some time and that is very long time ago now if you see there are so many other flavors also in the, in the market uh, so ubuntu is one of the uh, top most uh, uh, like uh, flavor people will be using uh, so if you see in the market in the industry. Uh, so CentOS is actually one of the like cluster specific uh, uh, operating system which is a free version of Red Hat and uh, so which will be which is used uh, by most of the uh, enterprises and also like uh, uh, this Linux uh, uh, is like uh, we can say like it is a combination of Linux and uh, GNU utilities of uh, Unix. So this was developed by these two people and uh, so, uh, so why why Linux became famous is like we can write uh, small programs uh, uh, that uh, very 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 uh, easily automate the things with a small kind of shell script for example. So if you want to do some perform some automation, so I can write a shell script and uh, Unix or Linux shell script and I can automate and I can schedule that on a uh, particular interval and I can uh, I can sit uh, relaxed and uh, I can see what is my outcome or it can be an email notification or it can be generate a file or it can be connect to database and pull some data and generate some report and uh, it can go and uh, restart a server. So all this all this I can automate very easily in uh, uh, Linux <coughs> and the network side these are some of the your know, unique commands which I can use and work on. Uh, and under Linux side, like uh, I can use a secure shell. It is not like I simply go and connect uh, Linux uh, server. I need to have a security secure mechanism like ID and password. So without that, I cannot I cannot even enter into Linux environment. That is what a secret level where uh, people are uh, attracted and started using Linux and SCP, which is like secure copy. 
so whenever you are copying file from one server to another server so if you normally if you go on either ms dos uh, or other operation like windows i can simply drag and drop but uh, if you see in linux side if you want to copy one file from one environment assume that i want to copy files from my development to uh, like uh, uat sat or production whatever it is so i need to use a secured copy so secured copy means so i need to have some uh, user and password then only i can copy the details or files from one location to another location and ping which is a command which will try to help me to find out whether my uh, host is uh, up or not telnet to connect to uh, the unix or linux servers ns lookup will give me the network statistics and the wget will help me to get the files from internet so these are like the commands at uh, which we can use at uh, network side so network specific uh, commands if i want to work on so i need to use from network to network i need to use these these are some of the basic commands <clears throat> and we also have different shell shells available under linux what is a shell a shell is a program which will help me as a user to interact with the kernel kernel is the main core operating system program which will interact with hardware so i cannot directly go and interact with hardware right so i need a mechanism or command interpreter which will help me to interact with the linux kernel operating system then it will go and talk to the hardware so to do that i need a command interpreter if you go to ms dos we have a shell ms dos ms dos shell so there i need to go and if we go to windows we have a power shell so what is this shell it is a command interpreter if i type date then it will go and display me the date today today's date and time so 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 how it will understand so when i type the command the command interpreter or shell will it will go and interact with uh, the particular shell and it will it will interact with that particular operating system and will interpret the command and display the data in the so bash is one shell where we, uh, we can we can widely use the uh, shell where people will be using uh, uh, to run the shell scripts and interact with the kernel thanks for watching the video for full course please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today